Hi guys, it's Janet Wakelin with RemarkablyCreated.com. In this One Take Wonder video, we are going to feature another project using the Easter Message stamp set. This is just a simple card that I love because it's self-standing, so you can have that beautiful message on your desk, on a mantle, on the kitchen counter, so I love that. Um, and it's just a really fun card to make. So let's go ahead and let's put this card together. What I chose to use for this card is I'm using Stampin' Up's Ultra Thick cardstock. It's a nice, heavyweight white cardstock. I have two of our white doilies. I have our copper foil that I have embossed with our wood grain embossing folder. So I have those pieces. I went ahead and I pre-embossed the cross and the linens with our copper embossing powder and the happy Easter with our copper embossing um, powders. And I'm sorry, I got distracted there for a second. We're going to need to use this card, so I'm going to go ahead and write these measurements down. Plus, then you'll also have them here, but I'll put them on my blog as well for backup. But I just want to go ahead and just real quickly, I thought I had a second card because this is a thick, it felt like two cards. But it's not two cards, so we're going to make do just so you understand and you can see how it's doing. Okay. Oh, and real oops, I'll show it to you in a minute now that I've already pulled this out. Okay. Stampin' Up's trimmer. What we're going to do, let me move this up here so I can see this, is starting on one end, we're going to go ahead and let me move the cutting one out of the way. I usually mark my scoring and my cutting either with just an S for scoring or both an S and a C. As long as one of them's marked, um, I've avoided having any one of those oopses trying to remember, you know, oh, light's this and dark's that, or crafting at nighttime with, you know, poor lighting or whatever. So I at least mark one of them, whether it's the S for C, um, for scoring that you mark or the C for cutting, um, that's going to be up to you. A Sharpie writes very easily and is permanent on these. Stampin' Up's trimmer, if you're not familiar with it, it's also long enough to move these out of the way. So I love that as well, too. So let's get back to our project at hand. So we are going to score at 2 inches. We are going to move over and score at 3 and 1 eighth. We're going to slide all the way over then and score at 5 and 3 eighths. And now here is another benefit of Stampin' Up's trimmer is this extendable arm that has a foot underneath for support. So I'm going to be able to put that down and I'm going to be able to score at six and a half and the half mark is right in between where that arm swung out. So I'm going to be able to put that in there and I'm going to be able to score. And then of course your last, last mark would be at eight and a half. So we've got our score marks. Let's go ahead and put our trimmer away. One of the things that you'll want is you'll want your bone folder. It's always nice to go over your score marks so that you have nice, deep creases. So we have this going on here. Now you've got pieces that were cut two inches by five and a quarter, and those are your side panels. And then you have one that was, kind of, excuse me, the middle panel is two inches by um, five and a quarter. And then your side panels are one and three quarters by five and a quarter. So we can go ahead and we can adhere those down. And sometimes the texture on the back of this um, competes with the snail. And so either fast fuse works or going direct to the whisper white first and then just giving it a good rub to stick down. And this one I need to trim it down just a little bit. It needs to be one and three quarters. One and three quarters, Janet. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. Sorry about that. Okay, now it's the right side. And I don't know if this fold has a name. If any of you do know this fold and know of its name, if you could add that in the comment section, that would be great. And so now with this card, 
these sections here get folded behind. So they go behind the card. So you're going to just fold it right behind, just like that. So now for this, all I did was took our doily. And let's just go ahead and add all of our adhesive. And just layered it so that it was coming on both sides. Easter is kind of one of those lacy occasions. So we're just going to add a whole bunch of adhesive here. And add that. And then with your um, little banner, you can either use our triple banner punch, or if you're comfortable freehanding it, just taking your little snips in and making two little points. <coughs> Excuse me. And I'm going to just um, break up the fibers a little bit, just soften it up just a little bit with the bone folder. Just give it a little bit more character than the original one just like that. And to mail it, you would just fold the sides in and it fits right in a traditional A2 envelope. So if you're enjoying projects like this with folds or you have ideas that you would like me to do for you, just comment below. In addition, remember that you can visit me at remarkablycreated.com to order the stamp set, order any of the supplies, to join my mailing list, and um, to get a copy of the dimensions for you. So thank you guys so much for stopping by. I appreciate it. Have a great day and God bless.